Yeah. Okay. We're holding 182. I wonder the Mechab because it's a little complicated here. And the Mishabura was giving an introduction, in the middle an introduction to the Halacha, on the on Halacha base. Dofno Sasuka. Okay. The walls of Tzukim Hoyu Shtayim. Zu Eitzel Zukim in Gam. Yet, two walls of Sukkah, they were not set parallel, they were set like a right angle. Ose Dofen Sheish Brok with Yosef Tefach. So you take the third wall and you take a, a, a board which is a little more than four inches. Umamido Pochs Bishlosha Lechon Meadfanos. And you set it within three Tfochim to one of the two walls. Okay, so now, so if you have a little more than three, so if you set it within three, so what do I have now? I have Lovud, correct? I have Lovud. No, no, but this is the third wall. This is the third wall. You're creating a third wall using Lovud. No, sir. Lovud is it's like a solid wall. It's not a Pesach. Because if it would be just a Pesach, uh, Tzuras HaPesach is enough. You take two vertical posts, a third wall. Put one post, have an opening seven Tvachim down, put another vertical post, and just put something across the top. You have a third Dauphin, right? But that's not valid. So, so what's this? This is a taxi to the second wall? Here you're creating the majority of a, of a wall. Or a, a one arm or more? One no, not one arm. Not one arm. Not one arm. You take something, it says, Osa Dovin Sheshba Roch with Yosal Tefach. You take a, a, a slat, which is little more than a Tefach. One Tefach. One Tefach. One Tefach is four inches. Okay? You need seven Tefachim for the wall. Seven Tefachim. So if it's a little more than a Tefach, now you, 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 you space it, you distance it, it's within three Tefachim. So if I have within three Tefachim, what do I have? I have four Tefachim now. Lovud is what is three tefachim. Now I have the fourth tefach is the vertical post, which is one tefach. We'll see. We'll see what the tefach is. We'll see. You, no, 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 no. The, the, the slat is the tef, a little more than a tefach. That is, this is going to be the third wall. But now you just, it's a, I have tefach and a little bit more. Now I put it within within three Tfochim of the existing wall. So what do I have now? Since it's within three, I have what? I have three Tfochim. And with the slat, I have four. So I have the majority of a wall now. The majority of the third wall stands. We're gonna, we'll see how we're going to complete the seven. Now, V'yamit kone keneged akosel, keneged osa tefach, now, now you take a kone, you take a vertical reed, could be minuscule, and you put it next to that tefach, v'yasel or tzuras pesach and now you create an entranceway, tzuras ha-pesach, the form of a doorway, shiyamit kone olav v'la tefach. Right? Kinegro osa tefach. And now you put a vertical corner reed across the top. Uchshero. Afi shakone shal gabeim eno no gebeim. And he says, even though what you, the reed that you're putting across the top may not even touch it, it's valid. Why? Because we say, Kurasi. Right? That's Talacha. If you have a Tzurasa Pesach, let's say what goes across the top, as we spoke about, the telephone pole. The telephone pole is not the vertical post of the Tzuras HaPesach. They put a, a slat alongside the hammer to the side of the telephone pole and they align it with the wires overhead. And you have the other telephone pole maybe 60 feet away or more, put another slat and align it with, with the same telephone wire which goes across the top. So the same wire crosses, goes across the top of both of these slats. So 10 Tfochim. 
It has to be the, the, the equivalent of a mechitz. A mechitz is ten. A lechi is ten. You have two lechis, one by near each pole, lined with the wire across the top. You extend it upward. Okay, it's the same thing. The horizontal corner reed that goes across the top doesn't have to touch the top of the tefach as long as it's aligned with the top of the tefach. It's good enough. Okay, we'll see. No, because if the wire goes alongside it, it has to go over the top. To be a Tzurus Pesach, a door, it's always, it always goes across the top. That's called Tzurus HaPesach Minatzad. It's on the side rather than across the top. Many years ago, there was a whole controversy. No, no. It's a question, Bidievit. Bidievit. Question, Bidievit. Very, very weak. There's a, what kinds of response in the 40s or the early 50s. Maybe, I don't think it was in the 50s. 40s you had the Second Avenue L, right? And you have the, what went across the top. Also, the question visually, do you have to see what goes across the top? Factually, you have a roadway going, you have beams holding up the girders, steel, right, supports, but you have on the side, you don't see the top of it, right? You only see something going across, alongside the side of those supports. So the question is, because you don't see what goes over the top, that's not called a doorway. When you see a door frame, you do see something going straight across the top. It's not blocked. So if that's the case, that's called Tzuras Apesa. But over there, you didn't see it. So over there, that's the way. If it goes across the side, alongside it, even there is a question. In certain circumstances, instances, it may be good. So there was a question, was in the 40s, the 30s, many Jews carried on the Lower East Side. They carried not because of the Manhattan being an island. They used that the Second Avenue L with something else. That used that as as a mechitza, as a tzurah pesach. That was the that was the, that was one of the walls that enclosed that area. And then what do you can tell people? People they weren't that learned, and they said, well, it's good enough from there. And most people, they they walked with their children, baby carriages. They carried in the street everything. They were carried at talisim tishul. And was really wasn't really uh, in accordance and conformance with Allah. Not sure what they were, but that w- don't know, don't know. So once you're relying on that, so you, you rely on that, you don't need the L, right? If you rely on the island, it's an island, right? I'm not sure. So there's a historical story with the L. You know, they took it down, and you know what they did with the steel? They sold it to Japan. They and they, no, us. and they gave it back to us in, 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 in bombs. That's what they did with that, with, with that iron. That's what they did with it, the scrap of the Second Avenue L, or one of these L's that they took down. Okay. Let's see the Mr. Burrow, his introduction. Doftus Asuka. So he says, Kedai Lahovin Heitev, to understand this well. Agdim Lakan Kami Korim Lalocha. He wants to introduce it with, with a number of fundamental understandings. Lalocha is a Aleph. The Shir Sukkah. What is the area of a Sukkah? Shtei Marzeke Shiva Al Shiva Tvochim Lepochos. Minimally, it has to be seven by seven Tvochim. Kilakam Sim Tovresh Lamdala, which will be explained later. The Alfinon, Bigmar Mikroi. Lokori suka al yedei haschach levad. It's not sufficient. Even suka means this, the roof covering, but that's not sufficient. Elim kain yesh lo sholish tefanos. You have to have three walls. Valochum shmi sinai. The achas min tefanos sag mit tefach achas. The third wall is sufficient. Have one tefach. Komokam bino she nira kedofen. But fact, it's not enough just to put that one tefach alongside the two others, because it has to look like. It has to have some semblance of a wall. Putting it just alongside, it just juts out slightly, right, which is a tefach, four inches, that doesn't look like a wall. So how do you take a tefach and give it the appearance of a wall? That the first is the gam, right? It's a right angle. Expansive, the hainu tefach umashu, tefach and a little bit more. V'yamidu b'richuk mokum pochos, 
Mishloshet Tvachim, Lech Mishnei Atvanos. And you situate it within three Tvachim of one of the two walls. How are you with this? Okay. Chol Pochs Mishloshet Tvachim, Kolobu Dami. So if it's within three Tvachim, we have Halochosh Mishina, it's called Lovud. V'nibsi Sheishkan Arba Tvachim. So what have we created? We've created a wall of four Tvachim. Right? Three Tvachim is, is Lovud. A little less than three, plus that little bit more, plus the lechi, which is a tefach, so I have four tefachim. For rov dofon, nehechshes sukkah, shushivet So I have the majority of what of the third wall. The reason why the one tefach has a semblance of wall because it's the majority of the seven of the wall, which has to be seven. Canal k'dei lahashlim shir, but you have to have a whole wall. Called Dovin Yasu Otsur Sapesach. So we complete the seven Tvachim by making a Tsur Sapesach. At the end, we put, at the end of seven, you put that, ver- again, a vertical post. Dainu Shiamet Konek Kenegdo Satefach. Yachik Mino at Sofa Kosel. She Kenegdo. You align it with the other wall. Shemasu Shiv Tvachim. Miniach Konem Mina Tefach at Akone. From that Tefach, you, you span it across the top with this reed. And it should be aligned, it should be over it. Even it's above it, even if physically it's not touching. It just be aligned with the top of this tefach and this kone at the other end. As was explained regarding what exactly constitutes a tzuras pesach That the vertical posts do not have to touch the horizontal, whatever may be, which spans the top. Why does the world have to be seen? No, because the Gemara says, because it has to accommodate a person. It's, it's a person with this table, a, a very small table. So for him to be able to be uh, in, in, within the sukkah, that's the minimum. you're saying that's the, that's the minimum size of it. Right. That's why I don't accept it. Correct. No, three is not enough. You have to have a little more than three. Okay. No, it's a. Once you you have a real four, a, a board which is four, it's understood. It's not easy. Was but yeah, but we're doing. Three. Yeah, you, you could do that. That's not a problem. No, four's not a little more than four. You yeah, need a little more than four. Yeah, but, but, but it said, no, but it says the Gemara says shlish is tefach. The third wall could be only a te- could be sufficiently a tefach. Now, how do you work out a tefach? With you, it's more. You, it's the majority of, of the seven. It says it's a lochum shemisina. It says shnei kil choson shlish is afilu tefach. That's how Lochel Mishim Sinai. The third could even be a tefach. So what does it mean? Just put a tefach alongside one of the walls? That's not sufficient. It has to be situated where you're creating the majority of a wall. So this is how, we, how, how we're explaining. Why can't you make all three walls? No, because you have to have two real walls. Because th- that when the Torah says the third tefach, tefach does mean just a tefach. Right? Because if that would be the case, just put it alongside one of the two. So therefore, it's clear that when, when you can't just rely on um, on halachic walls like a tzuras pesach. So you say make all four for Shabbos, all four sides of tzuras pesach. It's efficient. You want to create an error in the community, right? It's, it's enclosed with with these telephone poles. With tzuras pesach, that's it. And for Shabbos, that's that's rishus ayochid. And if you go and you transport from that location to rishus arabim, it's Torah violation. Now he's going to explain the Mechabir. He says, where do you take the Lechi, which is a little more than a Tefach? Where do you situate it? Yosal Tefach. Mogad Avram Muvur, Shemut Lassus, Tfonus, Asuke, Bekonim, Shemamidon, Pochs, Pochs, Mishol, Shetvochim. Rochus, Emizeh. Okay, that's, that's as we explained. 
Lovud is a solid wall. Surah Sapesach is an entryway. That's the meaning. You know, if you have a railing, let's say you have a fence enclosing the property mm -hmm. and you have metal, you know, vertical metal fence, ra ra rails like. And each rod, each rail in the fence is less than three twelve of the other. It's a solid wall. Allah is a solid wall. No, chain is better there because really, but here you have little vertically, you have spaces. Picket fence it could be next to one another. I mean, really close. Here you talk about we're speaking about it's 11 inches, 11 inch, inches from one vertical from one to the next. It's a considered a solid wall, solid wall. Okay, the, and the Mogadam says you could build a sukkah this way, not a problem. You know, you live in a hot climate and you want it should air. You could build, there's no problem, you could build a sukkah, because Lovewood is a solid wall. Wait, 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 wait a second. Right? No, but it's, it's even, so those little spaces, the, those little openings are sealed. It's also Lovewood. Each little opening is, is Lovewood, because it's within three tvachim of, of the other uh, chain link. It's understood. Vubaose ke arbatfanos. He says, but you have to, he says, do all four walls. Then you call him because they are brujos. Avokshain wrote the last rack sholish devanos. He says, but if he says, it's only if you build a sukkah of four walls. This is the Mogad Avram. But if you want to build a sukkah of three walls, Bina state, Bechitza Shemuchu Zulaze, Ushlemis Ashlishis Tefach. I don't know what the rationale is. If you want to build four walls which are not necessary, they could all be built with Lovud. But if you can have two and you only have three walls, and you want to build three walls with love, but it's not sufficient. Then you have to have two real walls. Mm -hmm. Evidently, the Xerisa Kosov of Shtaim Kilchos, Shloshis Tefach, it means if you want to rely on Halochel Mishmi Sinai, then you have to have two real walls. Otherwise, how are we contrasting the two with the one? Because factually, the third wall, that, the way we finally set it up, it's a halach, it's, ha it's majority physical with Halocha, right? So what, when the Torah says Shtaim Kilchos and Shlishes Tefach, what does that mean? Shtaim 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 Kilchos means you need real walls. But if you're making four, we're not relying on that. Factually, it's you're enclosed in walls. Now you put schach on it. So that, that's the rationale of the Mogen Avram. So the walls that are 12, 11 inches apart, then that's not a real wall. It's it's a halachic wall, but it, it's a halachic wall. It's a halachic wall, so it's not. But again, but if you have four of them, you're close within four. It's not a problem. Understood, but, but in terms not of a wall, it's not really a wall. It's, how, it's, it's not a physical wall. No, of course it's not a physical wall. Physical, you have openings, you have gaps in the wall. So it's just a halachic wall. Right, right. Love it is a halachic wall. No, but I'm, I'm trying to explain what the rationale of the Mogan Avram is. If you have four walls, he says it's not a problem. But if you have less than four, then you have to have two real walls, and the third is the halachic wall. So, I mean, where does the Mogadam get this from? Because he gets it from the psukim. Because the Pesach says, based on the spelling of the word sukos, one sukos is written mole, and the other two sukos are, is written chose, without the vav. So, the Gemara, this, 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 so based on that, the Gemara says, shtaim kil choson, two have to be real walls, the third is tefach. So when we're contrasting tefach, tefach doesn't mean a tefach. It means tefach, we're using a tefach to create a halachic wall, as, as explained, right? It's a tefach, a little more than a tefach, distance from the two real walls, one of the two real walls, and then you put a tzuras of pesach at the end, so you've created the third wall that's comprised of tefach, and a lovud with a tzuras pesach, right? That's what we're saying. But if you, let's say, well, you have four walls, that's not the halachim shimi sinai. That's you're, you're within four walls. Within four walls, they could be made per, uh, made of of halachic walls. So now we have a question. So why not use four tzuras pesachs? The answer is because a tzuras pesach, it's an entrance. It has a halacha of a wall. Lovu means it's sealed. Halacha it's sealed. Tzuras pesach means it's a doorway. So for Shabbos, a doorway is enough. But as an enclosure, it's not an enclosure. Because the sukkah, in the sukkah, you have to be enclosed. You're not enclosed. For Shabbos, for Rishus, to establish Rishus, it's, it's, you, don't, you don't have to be enclosed. It has to be circumscribed with mechitzos. 
Here's our logic. You have to shivas yom teishu basukos. You have to dwell in a sukkah. So you have to dwell within an enclosure. There it has to be circumscribed with mechitzas for Shabbos. It's a different concept. What's the mechitzas?